Today's video is for the starters, but never the finishers. By the way, I have a planner out. My life diary is now available for pre-order. This is a place where you can write out your goals, to-do list. This cute ass planner can be yours. You can pre-order at formedu.com or at the link in my description box. In this video, I'm going to be tackling this very cube right here where I have a collection of books that I've started and never finished. Some of these books I am just beginning, I'm like 20 to 30 pages in, and then some of them I just haven't crossed the finish line yet. And I have like 50 to 100 pages left. Let's now discuss some of them that we have on my shelf. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be getting through all of these books today. I'm gonna try to kill as many as possible, but given that I know that some of these I'm just gonna be starting, it might be hard to finish all these books. Starting off with If He Had Been With Me. Great book. I just got really bored halfway. If you read this book, you start off knowing that it's gonna be a sad ending. I do kind of want to get to that part just to feel the emotion. I love a good emotional read. I love reading sad books. Okay, The Book Thief. I don't think I'll ever finish this book, to be honest. You know what? Never say never. The thing about this is the literature is quite complex. Someone might say otherwise who's like, wow, what are you talking about? That was the easiest read of my life. I'm determined that I will be able to read it someday. Esto es un libro en español. This is called El Gato que ama los libros. The translation of that would be the cat who loves books. I don't know if we'll be reading that in this book because that will require lots of brain power. On this book, we are at page 30. So we got a good amount in. I understood what I was reading. I will say I'll pat myself on the shoulder. I still got it. Three books right here. I definitely will be reading. We have The Deal, Happy Place, and The Way I Used to Be. For our last three, the overstory again is the equivalent to The Book Thief. A lot of people talk great things about this book. Probably English literature majors or if anything, older folks who have a great reading level. Then we have the Atlas Six. I don't really like the six person point of view going on. For me, it kind of breaks up the flow a bit. I just also think that I've never read a book like that. So maybe I'm just not used to it. And then we have the Love Hypothesis. I wouldn't even say that I've started this book really because it's probably like 10 pages in. The reason why I start all of these books is because I love a good, strong first couple pages. That's what really hooks me in. And when a book can't do that, it's just hard for me to really get into it but obviously a book is not defined from the first 10 pages the spanish love deception i stopped at when it was getting juicy smutty maybe and you know i do love a good spicy romance i think these are gonna end up being book choices i'm actually really excited just to put these on my finished book stack and granted some of these are basically full-on read we might find some new favorite books yes Currently at page 286, so I have about 100 pages left. I really hope I do cry, but like I don't want to set any major expectations. So I'm just gonna go into it with no thoughts and kill these last 100 pages, and hopefully there's some tears shed. crying stop <laughs> I'm done <laughs> this video for quite some time and i think it's time we start our next book given after this really sad one i'm gonna start happy place i actually really don't know what to expect of this book so if it's another sad one that would be crazy i also hope you guys like my hufflepuff fini i feel so frat boy like i don't know i think i want to get to page 100 just because that's like when i feel most satisfied when i reach that point you guys take off the cover slips when you're reading a book because I do not, which now I get why people do it though. So I don't know, maybe I'll take off the cover slip just to see if I like the reading experience better without it. Well, we left off on page 34. I don't really know what's going on right now, but we're about to see. It's getting good, guys. Has it been? Feels like forever. Noticing every 
everything Like the hair on the wall Food on the office table from last week Parties are gone, weekends are ruined Can't even handle myself Mango. It's been going too long More than a nuisance What has it done to the world? Is everything a dream? I don't know what this means Time has been slow, it seems Cover your face while we Blame the 19 So many different scenes Growing from what I've seen more pages left. Ernie, you have seven minutes to get to work. Ah! Have a good work. Okay, I'll see you after. Wait, are you recording? No, yes. I didn't grab my bag heading back the way I came, but it doesn't feel like I'm moving backward. It feels like the first step towards someplace new. I'm oddly listening to one step forward, three steps back. Ah! Ooh, I don't know I'm racing to the airport. There's no... That's so real. I want my life to be like making pottery. I want to enjoy it while it's happening, not just for where it might get me eventually. I don't want to ball my eyes out, but... This book isn't all what I imagined, to be honest. And I also like that going into this, I had no pre-existing knowledge of what this book was gonna be about because it took me by surprise. And I have probably snot building up in my nose. After this video, I think my channel is officially gonna become a book channel. I have thoroughly been enjoying this. This is so fun. I'm jealous of all the people who have to read as a job. You are probably living such a peaceful life. I think I'm becoming a reader, guys. It's happening. The amount of books that I have read slash finished in this first month of 2024 has probably been more than I ever had in the past few years to be honest noting some of the books that I read this month I wanted to share the place where I write all of them down in my planner this was the January wrap-up of all the books that I ended up reading this is the monthly overview section but you can use it for whatever you like of course but I like to use this section to write out the book that I was reading every week of the month so for example I finished Akatar in a week two of January and the second book in week five of January and I kind of wrote out my little ratings on that. This is literally perfect because now I have a place where I can write about all the books that I'll be reading in each month. Like everything is all in one place. I love it. That being said, let's review our first two books that we've read. Kind of want to give my thoughts, opinions. Don't know if I'm qualified to do that, but I'm going to do it anyways. Definitely enjoyed the second half of this book so much more. So overall, the rating I would give it is a four out of five. I honestly only really liked Autumn and Finn. As for the rest of everyone else, kind of unlikable. We know that something really sad happens at the beginning of this book to the character Finny. Knowing that, I just thought there would be more of the two characters together. That's why I'm gonna give it a four to five because I wasn't fully satisfied. Obviously, I cried a lot and so I think any book that makes you feel that emotion is worth reading. We're just gonna have to wait till the very end of this book to feel those emotions, but kind of worth it. <laughs> Next, we have Happy Place. I wasn't really in a happy place. I was kind of in a sad place reading this book. You already know that there's a romance that goes on, but I honestly didn't even care for that. Oh my god, my voice just got caught in my... <clears throat> <clears throat> the fuck. I cared more for the coming of age aspect of it, which I heard someone else say that. And I was like, wait, that's the exact words that I was looking for. I just didn't think that coming of age pertained to this certain age of the characters. I'm going to tell you this now. I think coming of age can be at any point in life. You can be at your age 90 and still be learning about life. A lot of what the main character is experiencing is just figuring out herself what truly makes her happy. And I think that is such a big struggle that we all have in this life. Like, what are we supposed to 
to be doing with our life if we're not enjoying it. And I also think the title is a lot more than just the happy place that is referred to in this book. It is a metaphor for the idea of where your happy place is and that is a culmination of several different aspects of your life from your job to your relationships to your passions to your purpose. Like your happy place isn't just gonna look like what you're seeing in front of you. It's gonna be how you're feeling in that moment. I don't know, just like what's going on in life. I am gonna give this a 4.3 out of 5. My book. Love. My next book choice is The Way I Used to Be. I last left off on, I want to say page like 26. Just within those first few pages, you are witnessing the main character go through a very sad, traumatic event. I want to read this book. I want to read about her story. A lot of you guys had even told me that this book broke you. This is probably a whole different journey I'm going to be taking on from the last two books and I'm ready for it. <gasps> Bit of a book update. I actually set this down for a while because I finished this book. Instead, I had to just finish this before I could get back into this because I didn't want to read them simultaneously. And so I left off on page 70, picked it up last night. So now I'm at page 183 in part three of the book. It is a really good book. There is one thing that I didn't really like. <laughs> But despite that, I do think that it can be very relatable to high school students and not even just the situation that she's experiencing, everything within the whole high school scene. I intend maybe to finish this today. read the sequel to this which is the way I am now because I really like this book I loved it sorry let me express the way I really felt about it I'm not gonna give this book a rating just because I know several people can relate to the story that happens in this book and I don't really feel comfortable rating people's life experiences I think that the main character Eden's story is beautiful and incredibly heartbreaking if I could describe this book I would say that it is real it is raw and it is emotional understand that there is a lot of frustration that you are experiencing in this book the character and yourself and i think that's just the reading experience when you connect heavily to a character you kind of become attached to everything that they're doing to the feelings that they're also feeling and so i definitely had that experience in reading this book i think any book that really creates that connection between a fictional character and a real life person is so powerful especially with this story there are several people out there who have experienced that and i think it's important that we as people understand these stories we hear about them the biggest takeaway that a reader could take from this book is knowing that everyone has something that they are going through that you may not know about sometimes their actions are only a reflection of what is going on inside them just having that thought in the back of your mind that maybe this person is going through something is just helpful to not judge the person first but maybe be that person who offers help amber smith you wrote a beautiful book and thank you on to our next book choice these are our last two books the spanish love to and The Deal. Both of these are obviously romance books. I might have to go with this one because maybe this will be like a better ending to end off on. Like all of a sudden, this book went from being a little wholesome to... Now I know why I had to put this book down because I just couldn't get through these lines that were just cringing me out and made me feel so uncomfortable. I also hate the nickname baby, but especially when characters just out of nowhere start calling the love interest that. Also when things are getting spicy, that's when it's introduced and that's when I find it most 
like weird. Okay, can I get through these pages? I'm literally just like... Any tell me what you want line never sounds not cringy in my head. No, then tell me his jaw hardened. Tell me what you want. I think it's better when you're like begging. It's just cause like these lines are so unrealistic. You never would hear anyone talk like this. I will say this line is only well executed in the movies. In the books, it just doesn't, it plays out so awkwardly and funny in my head that I can't ever take it seriously. The line again, except right before, my gaze traveled down his arm all the way to his hand, discovering he was fisting the comforter right beside my hip. Tell me what you want, he repeated, his voice almost breaking. For some reason, this is all playing out in my head as if this is like Jacob from Twilight. I actually did not finish this book. This is the book that solidified that you can be finished with a book when you decide you're gonna be finished with a book. I talked about how I tried to keep picking this book back up and then just couldn't get into it. And this was just my confirmation of why that was happening. I wasn't a fan of the spice, surprisingly. I know there's a happy ending and good for the characters. I'm happy for them. It really had me in the first 300 pages. And I don't really know what went wrong with this book. If I had to give this a rating three out of five, I was gonna say 2.5, but I don't think it was that bad because I liked it for a moment. For our last book of this video, we are going to be reading the deal. The cover of it is just so, what's going on? <laughs> what is happening? I actually don't like this cover at all. Neither do I think I like any of these in the back. There's only a good 50 pages of this book left. I think I should just give it a go, see what happens, what, what ends up unraveling. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked this back up. These last 50 pages have so much going on. <laughs> We are finished. There was actually 20 pages left of it for me to read because there were some pages from the next book included in it. The next book in this series, I believe, is The Mistake. I'm wondering if you can just read them out of order, but from the few pages that they added in, I'm guessing it's about Logan's story. I am a bit intrigued. I'm gonna give this a good rating of 4.2 out of five stars. From the moment that I picked it up, I was enthralled in this book. Like I was getting through it quickly. I did enjoy how this relationship came about. It was really cute. I like all the characters. They provided lots of personality to this book and I could argue that without them, it wouldn't have been as good. I mean, obviously, because then they end up making stories about them after. On that note, good book. Two thumbs up. Recap, we finished the deal. If he had been with me. Happy place. The way I used to be. And unfortunately, the Spanish love deception. And that is five books. These five books will significantly add some height to my finished tag of books. That is it for today's video. If you guys liked this very first reading vlog video concept that I did, just comment that down below because I would love to do so many more of these. And I probably will do them even if you hated this video because I'm having so much fun reading. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Your head.